Let's review some of the essential meat cutting tools. We're going to start with our knives. This knife is called a scimitar or a steak cutting knife. The reason why it's called a steak cutting knife is it's excellent for portioning loins. It's good on the body. It's not as much pressure. This next knife, you'll notice, has a slightly different curve to the end. And this is called a butcher's knife or a packer's knife because you can actually go in and break primals into subprimals. This is one of my favorite knives. It's an 8-inch breaking knife. This breaking knife is good for staking, trimming, and even removing subprimals from primals. These next two knives are called boning knives. Now, you'll notice here that this one is a little more flexible than this one. So this is really a preference. Some people like a flexible knife when they're getting around bones. Again, it's kind of a preference thing. Now this knife here, you'll notice, is a slightly different and has a different curve. This is for skinning, so skinning pork or skinning lamb. This little knife is used for making sausage. You use this portion to cut the casings, and you use this end to pierce the casing to remove the air from the sausage. We have two types of cleavers. This is a straight edge cleaver, and this one is a curved cleaver. Again, it just depends on what you're using the cleaver for. This is going to do a little bit better job for bigger pieces, and this would be used something maybe for lamb loins or pork. Now, in order to use a cleaver, what you need is a mallet. It's very important because you, you don't want to really slam the cleaver into the meat. You can just push, push it into the, to the bone, and then you use your mallet to drive the cleaver through the bone. Now when you're doing meat cutting you're also going to use a bandsaw and when you use a bandsaw you're going to get some bone dust on the meat so it's very important to have a meat scraper so you'll just scrape the bone dust so another key tool. If you're doing any breaking um, of any kind of meat, meat hooks are really important. Um, they, they help pull the meat away so you can get your knife Again, it's preference. It depends on how big of a piece of meat you're using. So this might you might use this for lamb. You might want to use this larger or bigger one for beef. The other thing you want to do is always have a nice, clean workstation. So when you're cutting, you might have bone and fat and, and purge on, on your table. So you want to make sure you use a block scraper to keep your area very clean. And that's always important for safety. Lastly, when we think about safety, we also consider cutting ourselves. A dull knife is actually more dangerous than a sharp knife because you'll tend to push the knife through. So it's very important to always have your steels handy and use them frequently throughout your meat cutting day. You'll notice here there are two coarse differences on these two steels. This one is a heavier coarse and this one is fine. And you will use your coarser steel first to kind of rough up the edge of your knife and then you use the thin one as more of a polishing steel. And these are all your key meat cutting tools.